Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going to my top five defenses throughout the entire year of Madden 21, whether it's next gen or old gen. I'm going to have pass defenses, run defenses, blitzes, all that stuff in this video today. So, you should have just about everything you need uh, to have a full arsenal. And they're all going to be in the same playbook. They're all going to be in my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook. So, whether you're using custom playbooks or you're playing Mutt, you should be able to have all these defenses in one single playbook other than that if you guys want to see more videos like this as always do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section let's go and let's get right into the video and then the two main plays that i use the most are going to be the cover four drop once again which is probably the best run defense out of this formation and the best pass defense which is the cover three cloud so i'm definitely going to start off with the cover three cloud all we really have to do uh first thing we're going to do every time is set up my my run defense if you watch my gameplays the first thing i do is i pinch my defensive line you can spread the linebackers but i actually like to bring them out and down a little bit more anyway so i typically manually do it i like to have it just kind of like this i also got to make sure i'm always going to put my uh my user here on a blitz and I typically like, it depends on like what level my opponent's passing on, but I typically like to, to put this hard flat into a cloud flat. Just take away anything deep. Um, that's pretty much how I'm going to do. Because if it is something, if somebody's hitting me with a drag or something like that, I'm probably going to follow them across anyway. Although ultimately the last adjustment's going to take care of that a lot of times as well. Because ultimately, I like to put one of these defensive ends into a either a bluff blitz, which puts them into a three wreck, basically taking away any middle stuff. Um, three wrecks also do a really good job of following drags and crosses and stuff like that so I really don't have to worry about that too much you also have the ability to put this uh, this defensive end into a hard flat underneath uh, the curl flat that'll basically create like a Mabel concept um, if you're doing this I would say you probably want to set your curl flats at like a, a little bit of a deeper depth if somebody's hitting you with a lot of crossers putting their, your curl flat at a deeper depth is probably the best idea but like I said I like to basically um, cloud the middle here so that I can control the outside because I find that crossers zones don't do a great job against crossers anyway and drags anyway so I'd rather have um, the, the middle flooded so that I can run around if they see something I can follow it across and I can basically if there's like a deep you know anything anything outside of the, the middle area I don't I want to be able to leave that with confidence that it's taken care of and a three wreck is the closest thing to having a second user on the defense now switching over to like I said the second defense that I use the most is the cover four drop uh, this right here all I really do on a defense like this I typically like to pinch the entire defense like I said, this is more of a run defense anyway. To pinch the entire defense, you're going to hit the RB button or the R1 button, depending on whatever whatever system you're on, and that will just basically bring everything down. These guys outside here, they do a pretty good job of getting back in these uh, in these defenses. I haven't had too many issues of these outside cornerbacks getting burnt um, when, I, when I pinch the entire defense, which some defenses I think would probably be a little bit more suspect than normal. Uh, and then I make the same adjustments with my linebackers. I pretty much just have them spaced out like this uh, because they react really well. They, if they, and like I said, when I show it in gameplay, they do a really good job of taking away inside and outside lanes. They just they don't really get touched when they're this far back. They just kind of sit back and do their thing. It's it's you know it's one of the better uh, reactions you get from linebackers. The last thing that I can do if I really want to kick this run defense up a notch is go underneath and put them in hard flats. This will make sure if they're in hard flats, no matter what, before their play recognition kicks in, they're going to be shooting down outside to take away outside run lanes. That's really the whole point of hard flats. And I feel like it doesn't do a ton when it comes to um, the actual defensive coverage. I don't really feel like... Um, you know, they st like I'm talking about the four quarters now. Obviously, the hard flats take away short passes. They are a little bit more susceptible deep, but they they really don't take away too much from the cover four aspect of the of the play. The last thing I do, once again, I typically like to put these uh, defensive linemen. I'm hitting D pad to the left twice, by the way, for people that are that are wondering how I'm picking, how I'm getting these icons to pop up. But if you hit D pad to the left twice, brings up your icons for the linemen. Then I basically just put one of them in a bluff blitz again. Uh, this year, like I said, against run defenses, I, and in this particular coverage, I don't necessarily do that as much. But it's something that you can do once again if you're thinking you're going to have to run around and take away, you know, lanes. I still want to have that three wreck there. Although in this scenario, 
um, you know, I'm leaving the, the hook curl, but like I said, it's it's still the best way to go. I have um, out of the nickel 335, if anybody's running three wide receiver sets, I'm typically going to go with a 335 version. If they go to like a two tight end or anything that's more of a, a running formation, I go right to my 4-3 normal as my base. Uh, as far as the 4-3 normal goes, this is probably one of my new or my newer favorite defenses. Now, as far as the setup goes on this particular defense, um, there's a couple of different steps. I can do this this setup really quick because I do this all the time but you can see how quickly I can transform this defense one of the most important things when it comes to this defense is these safeties these safeties in the back here uh, they really make the biggest impact on this defense whether it's run or pass uh, they're really going to be the MVP of this defense so what I want to do is I want to put them in the best position uh, to basically make as high an impact as possible and the way to do that is simple the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Y uh, Y triangle if you're on PlayStation and I'm going to to base align then I'm going to do the Y triangle again and I'm going to show blitz you can see how the show blitz basically brings everybody down to the box but those cornerbacks on the outside are a little bit too far down they're a little bit vulnerable so the last thing that I'm going to do and this is kind of new is I'm going to base align again and now you can see those cornerbacks back off in a more respectable uh, position but the but the safeties stay the safeties down in the box are the most important part of this defense so you can see now that they're down to the box uh, they're gonna you know for Two, two reasons really if they're down in the box like this they're going to uh, react to the receivers faster and they're also going to react to the run faster uh, which is obviously what I want because I don't know if my opponent's going to pass or run I have no idea I hit random uh, the last step I typically I mean you can see I already put my linebacker on a, uh, a user blitz based off the fact it's just for coverage reasons it just takes away change of direction penalty if you guys don't know that uh, but the last step is going to be uh, I could either if I want to it's really up to you but I like to play underneath coverage a lot I like to play hard flats uh, that's going to help out a lot in the run because you can see these guys are going to start off at this type of angle and then they can basically take away stretch plays and stuff like that uh, and it's also going to help in the pass because um, if you hard flat I wouldn't necessarily say hard flat against a three wide receiver set like this but if you hard flat against like a two wide receiver set or something like that or something you're expecting to run it's going to be best uh, but without a doubt this is pretty much the setup I like to run a lot the hard flats can get you in trouble like I said three wide receiver set I wouldn't do that but against something where I could be expecting to run it's definitely a better way to go and then the last step is I typically would take the uh, the B, um, you know, either one of the defensive ends, whichever one is not your better pass rusher. Like right here, Frank Clark's on this side. So I typically would, and a lot of times I'll have a linebacker in these spots as well, but I typically would want to uh, put one of these defensive uh, ends into a, uh, a, a curl flat or a hard flat, uh, but I typically like to put them into a bluff blitz. The bluff blitz is definitely going to be um, the best way to go to so the point that I can basically leave the center of the field because that three right there is going to do a pretty good job of uh, basically being the user middle linebacker for me. Or you can just leave him blitzing. If you want to get more pressure or you expect to run, you leave him blitzing. But you can see there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, I find myself also, as you can see here, we get a run play on the first play. Uh, I'm going to guess without watching that the safety shot in because that's what that looked like. The way that this defense runs, if you don't guess pass, a lot of times these safeties will walk forward immediately. As you can see right there on both sides, you know, even though uh, t uh, who was that? Uh, Matthew did a much better job. I think he actually ended up making the play. Uh, if you guess pass, they'll drop back. And I'll show you on the next play. I'll guess pass, and they'll drop back just like safeties do. But if you don't, they and as long as you have good safeties that have high recognition, they're going to do something like this where they shoot forward and play the run. I didn't do anything. So, like I said, this here, if you don't guess pass, if you do nothing, the play recognition will take over, and these guys, these safeties, will make a lot of plays for you. Uh, but I'll show you what happens if you guess pass here next. So now I'm in a, uh, I'm just in a run play, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to guess pass, and you're going to watch how these safeties drop off the uh, drop off the cliff here. They just basically drop back and take themselves out of the play, and they're much less effective. So it, it really it comes in large part to their play recognition if you don't guess pass but since I did guess pass I forced their hand and now you're gonna see how these these safeties drop back they didn't drop back too far you can see Tyron Matthew obviously uh, reacted a lot better but that's still you know that's still uh, uh, yardage loss because if he was walking forward and running up to play his gap like he did on the first play then obviously that we'd be shutting this uh, you know this play down a lot quicker so like I said if I don't guess pass like right here I'm not gonna guess pass 
and you're going to see how the exact same play, exact same setup, these safeties are going to walk forward and basically shoot their gaps. You can see there's nothing there. You know what I mean? That's the point. This is a completely shut down run defense. And now I'm going to continue with the, the even 6-1. So like I said, this is, this is in my opinion, one of the best blitzes to run out of this particular book. It's, it's somewhat of an all-out blitz. There's a couple different ways to run it. You can run this exact same blitz out of the Samuel Blitz, which I'll show, and the cover four quarters. All I'm really going to do is I'm going to hit Y triangle, then I'm going to base the line, hit Y triangle again, then I'm going to show blitz, then I'm going to hit Y triangle again, and base the line one more time. Uh, basically, all of that is really just to get my cornerbacks and safeties where I want them. Then I'm going to pinch my defensive line, which is DB to the or, um, D pad to the left, and then down to pinch. Uh, and that's pretty much it. This is pretty much how I could set up this defense if I wanted to run this like a base defense. A lot of times I would, you know, hard flat and stuff like that. But if I want to make a blitz, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically send them all, which is D pad to the right, and then down on the uh, on the right stick to blitz all. This is how I make it a, a really fast blitz. This is going to be to the point where I have two different ways to run this. I can if if they don't don't have a lot of receivers, I can use her one of these DBs. Like sometimes I'll use her the safety on this side because there's only uh, one receiver over there. There's three receivers on the other side, so I can basically just borrow this guy and kind of play more middle linebacker. Or if there's a lot of receivers i can just use or this guy come down to the gap and then back away and get into coverage so essentially i have five guys six guys coming in um, i'll go ahead and I'll let the play run just to show you guys how quickly this can get through uh, because tom brady's just going to get sacked instantly now that was a play action like i said i picked random the last part that i really didn't mention as well uh, would be to guess pass if you guess pass um, these DB or these cornerbacks. Number one, the DBs will react faster. But number two, the the, uh, the edge rushers uh, will ignore any play action. They'll go right for the quarterback. I put out plays at just about every single formation in this game, but I haven't touched on the three four under. Now, this particular play that I'm going to show you guys today, I actually found when I was labbing a new book. I was actually messing around with the Tennessee Titans playbook a little bit, and I found a very good blitz out of the three four under that just so happened to be in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive book. So it's the play at the bottom there the will fire three seam like i said if you watch my videos you saw this in a gameplay video now as far as this play goes here uh, a formation like this an offensive formation like this might mess with the alignment just a little bit when you have that three tight end look a lot of times it will um you know force uh, the look to change a little bit, but it doesn't look like it did on this particular play That's one of the things I like about this play. It's a pretty uh, Consistent setup no matter what look you're looking at if you're coming out if They're coming out a little bit too much like you know wide gun formations a lot of time this blitzing linebacker will be out a little bit far uh, But all I'm really gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the d-pad to the right and down and that's going to blitz all that's all i'm going to do i can typically use either this guy here who's a safety will give me a little bit of speed um, on a formation like this though based off the fact that there's three tight ends and i don't really worry about them beating me speed wise i might bring this guy over and just use her the middle safety i just have to keep an eye on um, you know that receiver all the way out there, but he's pretty much going to be taken care of a lot of times These these uh, zone coverages are going to turn into man coverage is based off of the fact that there's not a lot going on in their area So that single wide receiver over there. I'm not too worried about like I said a lot of times I will use the safety uh, just to give myself an extra box defender uh, And then we'll go ahead and we'll let this play run like I said Hopefully it's a pass on this very first play You can see the pressure comes around the edge and of course the guy that I'm supposed to be covering is the guy that makes the catch Because I'm not paying attention. So let's go. Let's do that again Like I said, it's a really simple setup all I'm going to do for the blitzing version of this defense is blitz all and then I really have a couple of different options that I could do a lot of times if I want to play it safe I'll use this guy but if you have people that are you know hitting flats a lot and stuff like that you can leave them out there you can hard flat them you can you know do any number of things um, to that side uh, but let's just let this blitz get home one time before we go over the different variations that you can run uh, because this plays a good base defense too it's not just the blitz uh, as you can see on the next play like I said we're just gonna get you know so you're gonna get a lot of pressure you're sending obviously you're sending a lot of people so here's a scenario we have that bunch look um, this is a scenario where if I want to, I mean, I could easily, you know, since there's no real tells, since you're not making any movements to set up any blitzes or anything like that, um, you could easily, you know, use this as like a coverage play. Maybe you can Mabel on this side here. Um, you know, there's any number of things you can do. You can, you can do, uh, you know, Mabel's on both sides. Uh, and you can have like your traditional uh, defense. Obviously, these guys, you know, I, I think you can get pretty decent coverage. Obviously, this is a safety, so you're going to get good coverage on that side. Um, a lot of people like to run more safeties than what I'm getting. But like I said, if you have speed guys on the outside, you'll have definitely good coverage out here. I don't think running a Mabel concept against a computer is going to be a good idea because they'll just wait you out. 
but a lot of times if your opponent is reacting to the blitzing you could easily just switch it up and go with something like this which is something that a lot of people are doing and then you have that cover three look which a lot of people like anyway and like i said based off the formation you get pretty good run defense and the fact that this defense sets up so quickly too is definitely a plus so we'll go and we'll do that one more time and then I think I'll end this video with some gameplay footage of me running this. As you can see, once again, I mean, the pressure just gets there instantly. Let's go ahead and let's go to uh, a replay real quick. So watching it in replay, once again, like I said, this guy here, who's like the original blitzer, he will come in free a lot of times. You can see right here. I don't know why he decides to slow down and pass off. Like I said, it works a lot better in Mutt, but you can see we're still having success. This guy here off the edge, it almost looks like I didn't guess pass. I'm not even 100% sure if I did. But this guy here off the edge, he's the guy that gets a lot of pressure too. Like I said, you want to have speed at this out outside guy because he pretty much just sprints right in and gets an easy sack i'm gonna end the video there do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comments section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below